Hi. Sorry, I'm like trying a new angle today. I have a little more height to the sitch. Hold on a second. Let me get it just right. Just right. Yes. Look at that angle. Uh, nailing it. Guys, I don't know what is going on, but I'm already sweating. Like, what is happening? I have the fan going. I've got myself a nice summery drink. Oh, it's refreshing. Okay, let me just let me just make this angle even more intense. Yes, we love an angle that comes from above. We don't like angles that come from below. No, no with the chins. No, no. Okay, hi guys. <laughs> How's it going? Um, wow, I do you like do you like this angle? Do you care? You're like, what are you even talking about? Could you be more vain, Kate? Get out of here. <laughs> Glitter Fallout is here. OMG, Glitter Fallout That's awesome. All right, I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling up. I want the world to know. I need to learn the words to that song, but but do I though? Let's just keep them that way. <laughs> okay, I'm scrolling. Kim McConnell is here. Jerry Morrison, Lauren Boyles, Yas, all the usual suspects. Heather Willis. <laughs> Peggy S. is asking what everyone's drinking. Steffi Britches, I had forgotten to take my makeup off and wash my face so I could do my skincare during this. I thought I was going to be late. No, nope. you're never going to be late with my live stream because I'm going to be late first. Okay. Really hope I cool down because, <laughs> geez Louise. Jamie K. tonight... She cooked Indian for dinner. Jamie Kay is giving you a very like full on, like chefing it up, all of the gourmet cocktails situation every single night. Super impressed. Okay, <laughs> Kathy Haney, Kate, you're late. Um, Kathy, duh, I know, that's how I roll. That's how I roll. Oh, Sarah, Sarah Kleinsmith is here, yeah. Rebecca Schmierer is here. Schmierer, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Checking out the goods here. Is my dad here? Sounds like my dad's here. He said it's 97 degrees in Las Vegas. Uh, he told me it was 105 today but it's dry heat. See, here's the thing about us. And by us, I mean my parents and me. Like we, we like, we can deal with heat if it's dry. We can't do the humidity, like right now. Like what is even happening? I feel like I, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, you know, my face is prickling under my nose. Like this is not the way I wanted to start out. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> I guess it'll be okay, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Christian Milano, an oven is dry heat, but I don't want to live in one. True, but in Las Vegas, you're just you're just rolling around in that AC. You know what I mean? Like they're not out in that all the time. They're they're in the AC or in the pool. Cece, you're glistening, Kate. Thank you. Well, most of it is skincare, except for this this Schwedel Magettel mustache right here. I'm gonna fan myself. Does anyone care? What am I gonna use? Let me use this, this trash <laughs> to fan myself. Oh, I love a good trash fanning. Mm, this is actually really helping. This could be the whole live stream. Lauren says she doesn't see any sweat. Well, it's there, Lauren, and it can, it's only going to get worse, okay? <laughs> Um, I don't know what this nonsense is about people announcing this person named Claire. Co Hi, Claire. Literally, like last time Claire Kaufman came into the live stream and people were like, Claire Kaufman is here. And after the live stream, I went 
in to talk to Randy and I was like who the hell is Claire Kaufman is that is that like a, someone I should know he's like I don't know <laughs> I was like being really careful like Claire's here everyone thank god she came <laughs> who's Claire is she a big deal on YouTube or <laughs> I don't think she is she, it, are you Claire should I know you have I seen you on the street <laughs> do we know each other embarrassing not yet well that's the creepiest comment I've seen as of late not yet we don't know each other yet but soon okay no Nancy said she's a huge fan I'm just kidding I just thought it was funny that I literally couldn't figure out who Claire Kaufman is <sighs> My mom is telling me to turn my fan on. My fan is on. <laughs> that's, that's correct. I could turn it on higher, but here, let's turn it on higher and see, you tell me if it's too loud. Was that a big difference? Are you annoyed now? You let me know. Okay. Yvonne, is it warm in NYC? I didn't go outside today. Randy went outside. It's not. It's, it, it's so not. not. It's so not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm warm. This is, it's early onset menopause. It started for me around the age of 15. So it's just, this is how we roll. Oh, Karen thinks it's my sleeves. The fabric is suffocating me. That That's probably true. It looks so airy, but I'm really dying because of them. I'm not taking this off. Okay, so this is this is how we're going. <laughs> okay. Great, you guys can't hear the fan. I love it. Thanks for liking my shirt, guys. I got it at Target for $18. I linked it <laughs> in the description box. If you too want to sweat your ass off, you too can have this shirt and almost die. <laughs> Jamie Mayfield, I got the Pat McGrath concealer after debating forever since I normally don't buy makeup until I run out. Ran out of my concealer today and it seems like fate. Yes, girl, you will not regret it. Okay, so first things first, my drink. Spacebraham Lincoln. We have a tea, <laughs> just Tito's, just drinking Tito's all the time. But it's a fun color, right? It's Tito's and um, ruby red grapefruit. So it's a greyhound, right? Yeah, it's a greyhound. Mm. It's actually the perfect, I feel like I like greyhounds better than vodka crayons because it somehow it ba balances the vodka out a little bit more. I don't know. Um, okay, so guys, if you could hit like, I'd so appreciate it. Um, if you could also subscribe, I mean, it's a, you know what? I'm going to say it every time. I don't care because you know, there's, there's someone in this chat who's like, what? Subscribe, subscribe. Ah, she doesn't need me to subscribe. Yes, I do. For God's sake, just subscribe. Okay. Just subscribe. This is really helping. I know this is probably stressing you out. But this is really making me happy. <laughs> Karen Krauss, you could hang meat in my bedroom. It's so cold. Oh, God, I really want a bedroom like that. I really, really do. Yvonne Kuzmano, Kate, try the Greyhound with a salted rim. Mmm, that does sound tasty. A salty dog. Beekeeper said relaxing with a classic gin and juice. Helene H., is the heat on in your building? I don't think so. Nope. Nope. It really is the sleeves, but you know what? I'm starting to cool down. Guys, I know, I know it's alarming, but I am a Viking with a very, like I run hot. So even when other people are cool, I'm just warm and sweaty. Doesn't that sound fun? This is, this is just like normal. It, I do believe Karen is right. I think it's these fabulous puffy sleeves, <laughs> but damn it. This is what I'm doing for fashion. Okay. It's actually really comfortable. Like the shirt, it's really stretchy and comfortable, but 
Go figure. My mom said there are only 51 thumbs up and 167 people at this stream at the moment. Thumbs up. Guys, Donna is, my mom's going to come for you. She's actually going to come for you if you don't thumbs up this live stream. Do you see how threatening I am right off the bat? That's how this is all, this is the theme of the live stream. I'm going to threaten you until you do things. <sighs> okay, if I, if I, oh, Cece, $50 for sweating it out for us. Oh, Cece, Venmo me $50 for being sweaty. Woo! That is the best payment for being sweaty I have ever received. And I'm, I'm dead serious. Thank you so much, Cece. I swear if I, if I pick up this Sex, Lies, and Videotape DVD that covers up my face and I don't see more thumbs up. All right. That's more like it. <clears throat> Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so let me pull up my nerds. Guys, Glitter Fallout, I don't know if she's still here. Glitter Fallout, are you here? Linda? Bueller? Anyone? Mm. Oh, it is refreshing though. Um, I want to see if she's here. Linda, if you're here, respond. Respond. I think she left. She left. That's okay though. I'm, I'm gonna t tell you anyway, if you haven't subscribed, talked about Glitter Fallout before, but you definitely should subscribe to her channel. 100%, okay? I actually have cooled off, believe it or not. But you know what I don't have? A Kleenex. Because you know what happens when I get warm? My nose starts to run. And that's, <laughs> aren't you glad you know the inner workings of my, bo <laughs> my body? This is disgusting, I'll be right back. Ugh. Jeez Louise. Okay. Great, 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 great. <laughs> yes, I took an antihistamine. Yes, mom. Yes, I did. Okay. Randy is saying, I think you have to refresh the page to see the new thumbs up amount. So there you go. Jenny said, hi, hi, hi. I can't believe I'm late. Ugh, Jenny, you ruin everything. <laughs> Renee, Kate, you're falling apart. Renee, you've missed a few live streams. This is just how we start things now. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. Um, did I mention everything I wanted to mention? No, I didn't. Very exciting news. <laughs> Honestly, more exciting than I can put into words is that tomorrow I am putting up an April favorites video that is a collab with none other than Jen Loves Reviews. I, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I haven't stopped being dead. Um, I'm so excited. So <laughs> 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time definitely watch, um, watch our collab because I mean, I've got some great favorites in it. And also I'm going to be using a lot of what I talk about in tomorrow's video tonight because I didn't do like a get ready with me style favorites. I just, you know, talked about my favorites. So I thought I could put them to use in front of you like a demo tonight. Doesn't that sound great? Okay. I'm gonna keep this fan around because God knows, you know, we're gonna need that again. It's probably gonna be in like just in, in a minute. Oh, Vivian Haig just shared this video to Twitter and Facebook. Everyone follow Vivian's lead, okay? Vivian, can you teach everyone how to share on Twitter? Because I bet there's some people who don't know how to. It's very easy. Sharing is easy. Sharing is also caring. So again, please like this, please subscribe and Follow Vivian's lead and share because the sharing is helping me so much. Share on the Facebook. I know there are some people who are on the Facebooks on here, okay? And, and the Twitters and the Instagrams, the gram, 
as the kids call it nowadays. Renee said, I've shared all over, girl. Thanks, Renee. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to just dig in. I'm going to dig in. Randy, have I forgotten anything? I feel like I've forgotten something. No, I didn't talk about that. Thank you. So as you guys know, you can always send me a super chat. Super chats are super fun. We all love a super chat. It's like super bright and shiny. It can send like ridiculous things like pears looking at themselves in the mirror and being super narcissistic. You can send me a message. Everyone sees it. Everyone talks about you for days after you do it. It's so exciting. That's what it's like to send a super chat. If you don't want to send a super chat, that's okay too. You can literally send nothing because it's enough that you're here. But you also can Venmo or PayPal me because that way, well, I get all the money and YouTube doesn't get a cut. <laughs> so that's an option too. It's also an option just to sit here on your ass and drink. Randy is going to link my PayPal Venmo account in the, in the chat. It's also located, guys, you know what I'm gonna say. What am I gonna say? Where is it? Do you like how I'm talking down to you like a kindergarten teacher? What do you think I'm gonna say? It's in double chins. It's in the description box. Where is that? Where's that located? Good, Cece. Description box. Yes, Lauren in the description box. Good. Good. <sighs> Kristen. Good. Maricela. Yes. Yes, that's correct. In the description box. Down below this video. If you didn't know where it's located, that's where it is. So, anything I use. That's right. I sat here for 30 minutes and figured out what I was going to do beforehand so I could link it below just in case you want to know what it is. And I've got this, actually guys, you know what? I've cooled down now, I'm not sweating. So I think, I think it was just, I think I was just nervous for the live stream. Um, Renee, you don't have to, I just, just to be clear, just to reiterate, no one has to send super chats, no one. Not a damn person, okay? This is only if you wanted to. That's who I'm talking to. Shares are just as valuable. No pressure. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's reminding me what to say. But you know what you can do? Renee's already done it. Renee, this doesn't apply to you, okay? None of this applies to you. You've done everything you can do. You, If you don't want to send a super chat, what you can do is share. Share my shit on all the social medias because it really helps me out. All right. All right. I'm done. She's like, oh, my God. How long is this spiel going to be? She's gonna wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Okay. Someone asked a question about sharing, and I'm gonna. Ms. Robbie Lou literally wrote out a tutorial on how to support my channel. This is how to support Kate. Wow. She is teacher's pet. Like the video, share her channel, subscribe, shop her merch, use her links in the description box, donate to the channel via Venmo or PayPal if you wish. She's nailing it. And watch her videos. Ms. Robbie Lou, you're nailing it. Nailing it. Vivian asked if there are any new merch discount codes. Unfortunately, not at this time. However, you best believe there will be coming up. Helene says she just shared me on Twitter. Oh my God, everyone is doing what I asked. I'm so grateful. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Katniss 4, do we have to pass this test or go home? No, the test is over. You all did very well. Gold stars all around. Jennifer Gould, Kate, does sharing just grow your channel or does it actually help your AdSense? Girl, it helps everything because if you grow your channel, more people are viewing things. That means your AdSense increases. That means, you know, I can put more toward my channel, which actually I've been very fortunate to be able to do because of that growth a little bit, not a lot, but I definitely have been able to 
you know, buy some new products. So I'm not we're, like literally using the same products from the day day one that I started on YouTube. Because let's be honest, I, I have <laughs> pretty much been using the same damn products for forever. So it's it's full. It's like a full circle. You know what I mean? Like the sharing helps everything. Kate, Vivon, Kate, I sent a PayPal to Lynn. Yes. No, you didn't. No, Yvonne, I got your PayPal. I definitely got your PayPal. Um, yes, 100%. If I didn't respond to you, I'm so sorry. I try to write. If I don't see the notification for PayPal or Van Venmo come up, I will try to go into my email so I can read it. And if I don't do that because I missed it, I try to, after the live stream, go through and write everyone personally who did that because I really appreciate it. So I'm so sorry, Yvonne, if I didn't get to you. People are sharing up a storm, guys. <sighs> sharing up a storm. Sorry. Okay, wait, someone. Oh, Swimbo. Hi, all. I finally made a Wednesday live chat, but that's because I'm officially retired. Woo, woo. Yes. Hashtag retiring in a pandemic. That's a new hashtag. Use it. It's a good one. Jennifer Gould, I just wondered if actually pay. Girl, it all pays. It all, <laughs> it all pays because every little bit helps. Okay. Wow. I've really run my mouth for quite some time, haven't I? For 21 minutes and 51 seconds. Let me just, while I chat, put things on my face. Okay. So, um, for, no, no, not first. See, I put these in order and then I just mindlessly grab things. Oh, $20 from Jamie Mayfield. She sent me a PayPal. Thank you, girl. Yes. <sighs> Thanks, Jamie. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with my, let me make sure I didn't miss any. I'm Now I'm paranoid that I missed, I don't think I did. No, just Jamie, great, okay. I feel good about this, I feel good about this. So, first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer Illuminating. This was sent to me by an angel person by the name of Michelle Wong. I think because she probably already had some. I, I really don't know, but I'm not mad about it because it's my favorite primer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My face is a little bit red today because I will admit that um, last night I got a brand new bottle of the Biologique Recherche P50 lotion. And I haven't used that in quite some time. Like it's been a long time. And I just, I just freaking squeezed that shit onto the cotton pad. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this morning I woke up, woke up and I was like, no, no, because <laughs> just a little irritation. You have to go very, very lightly with that. You can't like dig in. And I completely forgot about that, but that's okay. It's like I peeled away my face. It'll be great eventually. Okay, so Kim McConnell. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kim. Oh, yes, Jennifer is here from All Feisty. I do have the P50W. Yes, uh, P50 is truly a miracle product, but like, don't, you can't go crazy with it. <laughs> it's so intense. Okay, people are asking what I'm talking about. It's the, uh, I'm not using it right now, but it is a skincare product. I've talked about it before on my channel, but it's been quite some time. It's called, uh, the, it's the P50, the, can I talk? I'm just gonna wait. It's from Biologique Recherche. It is the P50 1970 lotion. It's basically a chemical treatment um, or a chemical exfoliant that you can use every night, it just depends on your skin. But I went a little bit hard. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's amazing and it's, you know, like celebrities use it. Like it's really in demand. Like I don't know if you know, but like, yeah. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just looking at the chat. Kate Puglia is here. Oh yes, and and Lisa J. Lisa J. Makeup. I mean, if you don't know who Lisa J. Makeup is, like, what are you even doing? But anyway, she is an Earth Angel, and also uses p50 and she swears by it we actually were texting back and forth about because <laughs> i was like should i i haven't used it in a while do i need it and she's like yes you need it i i use it every day and it's changed everything and i was like okay okay lisa j uh, i'm getting it tina scariano one of my best friends is here oh my god i just climbed to the top of the mountain to scream and yell i am i am late but i am here anyone well i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna encourage that behavior but i'm not gonna encourage your behavior tina you've behaved badly already <sighs> okay john dawes oh my god can you get more gorgeous? You look like a freaking modern Disney princess. Bow down to your princess, Kate. Is that how you meant me to read that? I think it was. Thank you. A Disney princess. Oh, because of the sleeves. Yes, I got it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. This is the Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation in Too Fair. Guys, I've never been, I, princess is something that I'm not accustomed to <laughs> playing, but you know what? I feel like one tonight. So thank you so much. Really appreciate you. <laughs> Tina won't stop yelling at me in caps. Tina, don't make me come over there. I know where you live. I'm doing this without a mirror, which I can sometimes do because, you know, I can see myself in the, um, in the camera, but like, we need a mirror. We need a mirror here. Okay. Great. I think I need more light too, actually. Okay, so people are asking about P50. So I should have linked. I, I didn't even think I was going to talk about P50. So P50 1970, um, oh, damn it, things are falling. Um, it's hard to find, but it's really not because you just go to Rescue Spa, like literally type in Google Rescue Spa, near Rescue Spa NYC. Um, they have the fastest shipping. Sephora, Sephora, I don't know if you're listening, but take a hint from Rescue Spa. I ordered that product. It came the next day. Now, admittedly, it's in New York City, so that's a little bit, that's unfair of me, but also like it came the next day. Um, so yeah, check out Rescue Spa. But I will tell you, I've had things shipped from New York and it's taken like a week. I'm not even kidding. So I'm just saying. Okay, I feel like I beat my face enough with this. Yes, yes, I feel good about this. I feel, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, great. Oh my goodness, Claire Kaufman, she got her cloud paint. Yes, cloud paint. I don't want to give anything away, but there might be some glossier in the favorites video tomorrow and some glossier that I've never used. What could it be? Maybe you should tune in and find out. Maybe. Mabes. <laughs> my dad, my dad said we're here for the face beating. <laughs> dad, that just tickles me. It tickles me. You better beat your face. That's a very drag-tastic term. I feel like that's kind of where that comes from, like beating beating your face. But I love it. Seluma, Sulima Luna. 
Sulema, Sulema Luna. God, that's a great name. Kate, will you still be doing these live streams after quarantine when we all go back to the outside life? Well, it's yet to be seen. It really has to do with, it's, are, is that going to happen? So I'm sure it's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> kind of. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if the people still want it at that point. I mean, it was more just to kind of keep people distracted. But I mean, if it becomes a thing, like, I'm not going to, like, be upset. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. This is the Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath Labs. The longest names that ever were. And the tiniest print on the bottom of a bottle. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I can never remember that. It's too long. Pat, work on it. Pat needs homework, too. That's probably even a little bit too much, to be quite honest. But I'll blend it into other areas. See, this is what I... Okay, there we go. This is the creamiest damn concealer I have ever seen. Like, what is even happening? Do you see how it's blending out like butter? Do you see it? What shade in the Pat McGrath? It's L2. Again, if I, if I miss your comment, everything is in the description box. You can always check and see, because I also list the shades and colors that I use. Like literally, it looks like someone just, I have to use this reference again, like took a Zamboni and was like, like it's so good. What in the actual hell? Renee said the concealer looks, seal looks gorgeous. Thank you so much. I honestly, guys, like I, I can't remember. Oh my God, send a super chat. Okay, this is how you do a super chat. Watch and learn, he said sarcastically <laughs> from my dad. Everyone, take note, but you don't have to. But if you want to, take note. What if this whole video is just like a giant disclaimer, like me just like falling all over myself to be like, I mean, you could do this if you want, but it's totally okay if you don't. But if you do, you could like, <sighs> sometimes I feel like I'm doing that and I'm like, you got to stop girl. It's annoying as hell. Am I beating this too much into my under eyes? Yes, but it doesn't hurt because it looks so blended. Okay, I, I really have to say, I just, <laughs> that freaking concealer is bananas. Bananas. Okay, so good. I'm going to put things away as I go because my mother always taught me it's best to clean as you go. That way you don't have to clean after you're done and you won't be overwhelmed. So I'm going to do that. So just one second, please. Hold, please. Okay. Now I'm gonna put away this primer. Okay, great. Oh, Better Off Red is here. I just put on lashes to cook dinner in pajamas. Yes! I just put on this puffy shirt to talk to a bunch of people who I can't hear. Winning! But I can hear you in my soul. I can hear you. Okay. Terra Ball. So it's, oh, Sherry Ford. But dad, she told me not to do super chats. You, <laughs> Sherry Ford. She just sent $50. Okay. I think I missed. I, she said, but, oh yeah, but dad, she told me not to do super chats. <laughs> Sherry, I appreciate you. I, pre I appreciate a super chat. I appreciate you in a Venmo. I appreciate you in general. I appreciate you. Um, so someone asked about concealer, so I'm going to scroll back up. Tara, so it, it's better than your beloved cult ColourPop no filter. Yes. Like, I mean, that was good. It was good. 
it, it was great. It was great. I didn't know how good concealer could be. Like that doesn't even compare. Like, I mean, I guess I'll use it, but will I? Cause why, why would I use anything else? Like that's honestly how I feel about this product. I'm like, I, 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 Kristen Myers. Yes. Sent a dancing pair in 1999 super chat. Thank you, Kristen Myers. I love it. I love it. My dad said, I'm a dinosaur. I can only handle super chats. That's true. I can vouch for that. Um, okay. I've only done like three things to my face. Let's do more, but let's also take a drink. Mm, it's frost. It's gotten frostier. Okay. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? We're going to do guys. Okay. Here's the thing about this routine. And again, I I'd like to specify this is actually the makeup that I'm wearing in two videos. Never have I ever filmed two videos in one day, except for yesterday when I filmed my Sephora VIB haul video, which if you haven't watched it, Doug, go watch it. And then I filmed my video. That's, you know, my April favorites video, which is the collab with Jen that's going up tomorrow. So I am wearing all, basically this exact makeup routine in both videos. Um, it, I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Like it's all I ever want to be doing right now. So just strap in. It's going to get crazy. Grace Adams ran a question, but does Randy have a skincare routine? The men in my life don't. And it makes me annoyed. He does. He actually does. He uses the, I've talked about it a couple times. He uses the Dr. Jart. I never know how to say it. If it's chick a pear or sick a pear, uh, tiger grass cream. And it is truly an, a miracle product because um, he has very like sensitive, rosy skin and his face is like a baby's ass. So, oh, Christy Myers is here from Fargo, North Dakota. Well, hey there, Christy. How you doing? Yeah, don't you know? I bet you never heard that before. No one's ever said that before. I'm sure. Don't you get sick of that when you live in North Dakota? Are you just like, oh my God, another person just thinking they can do a Fargo accent. Well, you know, I'm from Fargo, but like, I can see that would get annoying. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God, Tina Scariano. She said, and I just pulled the trigger on the concealer, damn it. If you pull that trigger, and you do it right now. You better use those links. You better use those affiliate links down below in the description box. The description box. I said, I said, the description box. Okay. <laughs> do I have to make everything into a jingle for you to listen to me? Is that what I have to do? Because I will, because I'm pathetic. Okay. Debbie Rosales said, my, dis my Sephora order should be here tomorrow. I'm going to use everything in a full in a full makeup and go to my Walmart grocery pickup. Okay. Well, all right then. Angela said she likes my headband. She wants it. I'm here to tell you this is like a $5 scarf that I just cut and just made into a head wrap. I'm telling you guys just anything and do a head wrap. I'm telling you right now. I feel like my dad is having side conversations with subscribers, <laughs> which I'm, I'm fine with, but like, don't you dare think that you can find about out about me as a little nubbin and go while I'm talking about makeup and ask my dad. Okay. Well, apparently you can because he's answering the questions, but still, Jen, has anyone told you you look like a young Meryl Streep? I have never heard that. I've never heard that one, but I'll take I'll take it. I've heard Glenn Close a lot, a lot, and I'm not mad about it. I do love I do love Glenn Close. What else have I heard? Glenn Close and strangely Evan Rachel Wood, which those people don't look 
anything like each other, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna move on to, oh, Jennifer Gould said it's pronounced Sika pear. Oh, Dr. Jot Sika pear, think. Well, I wish I would have known that like a couple years ago. I could have Googled it. I could have Googled it. Okay, so guys, this, I'm very excited because this is the Fenty Cheeks Out um, Freestyle Cream Blush. This is like my new obsession, along with the bronzer. We're gonna use them all. Um, and in, in those videos, I was wearing the Strawberry Dip, which is this, um, which I love. This is like my favorite color of all time. Favorite color on lips, on nails, on cheeks. It's just fresh and juicy. However, guys, I'm breaking it out tonight. I'm doing the daiquiri dip, which is bright red. The best way to blend these is with your fingers. I, I, Britt Clark told me she used a brush and it was like, nah. So don't do that. I feel like I could just stick with this face and this cheek and I'd be giving you like a very sort of like Moulin Rouge, like TB chic situation. Am I wrong? Just like dewy and pasty and like on the brink of death, but like rosy cheeks. It's a look. This cream blush is like, it, I, I, guys, I'm not gonna say it's better than Cloud Paint, okay? Cause it's, it's just different, but I'm gonna say it's equal to, and I'm obsessed with these colors. I'm obsessed with the packaging, and I just think it is, it's perfection. And yes, in my two videos, I am giving you a very, like, sort of bronzy, minorly sunburnt cheek combined with like an aspens. I'm giving you just a very, very rosy cheek and I'm not mad about it. I swear to God, if someone comes into the comments and is like, too much blush, I can just see it now. Too much blush, no punctuation, no capitalization. I can see it in my mind's eye. Don't you do it. Exactly. Tina Scariano, that's exactly, if you look at Tina's comment, that's what's gonna pop up. Some troll is gonna come along. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what you say. We're going for like a blush alicious situation. Okay. And we haven't even set this yet, but isn't this gorgeous? Look at it! <laughs> Damn it, it's gorgeous! I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Han Solo, more cowbell. And by that, I mean more blush. Yes, exactly. Guys, I'm telling you, people are asking about the shipping with Sephora. It is a shit show. Um, I have another order of like just a few products. I placed that order on the 21st. What is today? Today is the 29th. So it hasn't even shipped yet. It hasn't even shipped. It's just hanging out. I'm just like, I think I'll just like hang out in the warehouse. You know what I mean? Like it's like really nice and cool here. And like, I just kind of prefer it. So I think I'll stay forever. No, you won't. You shall be in my hands. Okay, so we use the cream blush. I think we're done. <laughs> I can't make any promises. Lauren Boyle said they lost my order. Ooh, yikes. Yikes. Yeah, and I, I get why shipping is taking longer. Like, the situation we're in with the pandemic and the VIB sale, I'm, I'm sure they're just like, it's just a madhouse. Carol Ann, I got both my Sephora orders in two days. Well, 
Good for you, Carol Ann. Lottie freaking da, do you want a cookie? The rest of us are dying over here without our Sephora orders. Okay, now we're going to set our face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. This is in the shade Fair One, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This was a part of my Sephora haul. Oh no, I'm sorry it wasn't. It was part of my Charlotte Tilbury Pat McGrath haul. Regardless, it, a haul, whatever. Which you can get Charlotte Tilbury, might I add, and that's linked below. You can get it at Sephora um, as well. And you should. You better get that sale while you can. But this is like... So many of these products I'm using, I'm like, do I need to ever use anything else like ever? Like ever though. Han Solo, I don't care when I get mine. I'm just glad they still stayed functioning enough to allow us makeup addicts to partake in the VIB. Yes, absolutely. Um, Okay, so now we're going to do, okay, shit. I think I should have done this before the powder. It doesn't matter. It's still gonna look good. No, you know, no, damn it. I wanted to use the, nope, we already said it. See, this is what happens when I'm just like looking at the, ch looking at the chat, just like not thinking, but you know what? It's okay. I'm just gonna have to change it in the description box, but I was gonna use the um, Fenty Cream Bronzer, I'm kind of sad because I really wanted to use that. I want to slap myself in the face. It's okay. This is a perfect, this is the perfect situation because now, see how I'm spinning this? We get to use the Fenty Bronzer in Shady Biz, which is not a cream bronzer. And it's not like brand, brand new. I mean, I, I, it's new to me. I've never used it. So this is, this is the shade. Lauren's saying I still can use the cream. See, this is the thing. I don't know. Using cream on top of a powder. I'm on the fence. Sometimes that doesn't work out. Should I? You know what? I'm going to use Shady Biz because I want I, I want to know how it looks anyway. So I'm using my refer. Oh, someone's saying it works. Nope. I'm taking Back it up. 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 Kate, make a decision, for God's sake. Bought a biscuit. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Go with the cream. Every skinny nacho is yelling, go with the cream. I'm obsessed with you, skinny nacho. What is up with that handle? Obsessed. You nailed it. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do the cream bronzer because everyone's just like screaming at me. Just kidding. Okay. Okay, I feel like I need a bigger mirror because we really need to see what's happening here. We can't just willy-nilly throw bronzer about. This damn brush can blend anything like a dream. Like, I don't even understand. Like, it's so perfect. I feel like I could just pat this into, like, just garbage and it would look good on my face. Like what is even happening? Refer P22, you can have your way with me any day. Okay, you guys are right, this is working. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lauren's like, told you. All right, Lauren, you were right. You were right. Obsessed. I've been, Bonnie's in. I've been waiting for my, my refer brushes and BK Beauty brushes. So excited. Oh my gosh, they're worth the wait. But both of those companies, like, it's ridiculous, honestly. 
Katrina, $20 I teach high school gave my students extra credit for making a video of themselves saying, Yas Queen. <laughs> she Venmo me $20. I'm obsessed with that Katrina Hemingway. Thank you so much. Also obsessed that you told your high schoolers that. Obsessed with you. I hope you didn't get any backlash. Yas Queen. <laughs> Yeah, just high schoolers being like, Yas Queen. Can you picture it? Picture it. I wish our high school had done that. <laughs> that was not happening at our high school. Still not happening. Pretty sure about that. Okay, if you're thinking like I'm going too far, no, I'm actually like blending, blending, blending because I just want to make sure that, you know, someone, okay, so this is the P22 Ruffer brush. I forgot to freaking link it, but it is my favorite bronzer brush. Um, well, I will link it after, um, after this is done. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Let me see. I feel good about this. I feel good about it. I feel glowy. I feel great. This bronzer, sorry, I'm having some like indigestion. So this bronzer is amazing. Like the cheeks out line. Also, it's really affordable. I know this looks tiny. I talk about this in both my videos. So forgive me if you've heard it. But like, it's just first of all these are gonna last forever these cream blushes and it's like twenty dollars for this it's gonna last like probably last me over a year and a half to be quite frank so um i just i i feel like these blend like a dream um i'm i'm totally sold on cream bronzer uh, on this cream bronzer that is Han Solo said, okay, that bronzer is stunning. Wasn't even tempted before this video, but now I'm sorry, Han Solo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Hourglass Diffuse. No, I'm sorry. No, that's not what we're gonna do. We could have done that, but I, I wanna be as indecisive as I can possibly be for you tonight. Um, we're gonna take that same cream bronzer and we're going to use it as an eyeshadow it's not going to be anything crazy obviously but this is what i wore again all of this this is what i wore in my video from yesterday and the one that's coming out tomorrow and i was pretty much obsessed with the luke um so guys i have to tell you the other morning i made us corned beef hash from the can. You know what I'm talking about, Libby's corned corn beef hash. My mom used to make this all the time. I mean, not all the time, but you know. Libby's corned beef hash with two over easy, hot, salty, peppery eggs over it. I'm sorry, I just like literally, my mouth just spread out saliva. Like I just, I can't even, Guys, I know, I know it's poison. I know it's trash. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. You can't tear me away from my canned meat. I don't care what you say. It's so good. Oh my God, with those eggs. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, listen. Things are a little touch and go. Maybe you need to pick up some Libby's, Libby's canned hash at the market next time you go. Get some eggs. My dad, I'm so glad that us dumb guys don't use makeup. It's the little things grateful. Well, Lottie freaking da. I'm so glad everyone's so glad about their lives on this live stream. Good for you. <laughs> no, makeup is fun. Makeup is fun, but I also love skincare. So it's like most of the time, I, I mean, I'm just doing makeup for you guys, you know. <clears throat> okay. People are very divided about the corned beef. I'm just gonna leave that there and I'm not sorry. It's one of my favorite things, corned beef hash, lightly seared with two over easy eggs on top. It is a dream. Don't knock it until you've tried it. 
I'm telling you. Okay, done and done. Oh, catnip for my mother bought Hormel brand corned beef hash. That's that's good too. Either one, either one. Okay. Oh, my friend Heather is here. Try try to get canned oysters and they were out. Oh my God, there's a run on canned oysters. Do you think I caused it? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure like everyone saw my video. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone saw my live stream across the nation and went out and got <laughs> smoked oysters. <laughs> um, I think they're also like not a super popular product. Am I wrong? So like I, maybe they don't have a lot in stock. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Maricela says, what is corned beef? Sorry, not American here. Okay. Corned beef. I only know it from the can, so I feel challenged right now. I'm like, it comes from a can. It's been canned for me all my life, so I don't know how to explain corned beef. It's... You also make sandwiches out, not the canned stuff, but like yeah, I mean, it, okay, so corned beef is, it's, it's meat that's canned. It doesn't have to be canned, but it's how I prefer it. And it has little chunks of potatoes in it, and you fry it up in the morning times. I don't know. It's just a terrible explanation. <laughs> I suddenly, like, sound like I'm five. Like, everyone's just like, I'm done. This live stream, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. She can't explain corned beef. Okay, next step. <laughs> I'm doing the hourglass. Everyone's saying the smell does you in. Here's the thing. Stop whining about the smell because, yes, it smells bad when it's, like, just open and hasn't been heated, but then you heat it. I mean, are you going to stick your nose up on some raw, raw ass fish, you know, unless it's sushi and then it's good, but it's like, or meat and just be like, ugh, I don't like how that raw meat smells. No, you cook it and then it's delicious. Okay. This is the hourglass ambient, I, again, the longest name, ambient lighting powder and diffused light. It's not really that long, but, and I'm just using this to like make everything really nice and glowy. Don't you like how I really drive our conversations according to what canned meat I had that day? You, I bet you didn't expect that when you first came to these live streams. Mmm, Susan, Susan made waffles and bacon this morning. Yes. Okay, okay. My dad's saying, yes, it does look like dog food. Yes, it does. But then you heat it up and it's fine. Okay. I need to focus, guys. You're distracting me. Focus. Next, I am going to use... Oh, next I'm going to set my under eye with... If you get the Pat McGrath concealer, I'm sorry to, like, put pressure on you, but you also are kind of not doing it justice if you don't get the powder because it's so good. It goes right along with it and it's an under eye blurring powder and it is, <sighs> I don't understand. Like I literally don't understand why it's so good, but this is, this is it, right? Okay. This is the lightest shade. This is also the tiniest mirror they provide. We're not going to do that. Do you see, did you see like how there's just like even more brightening happening. And I just go around my nose too because I always like to hit my nose with concealer. I mean, what is even happening? What is even happening before your very eyes? It's like I just threw a fountain of youth on my under eyes. Okay, next thing, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm just going to go over the um, the Fenty bronzer on my lid because it's a cream. You know, we need to set the cream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, perfect. Now we're going to come back around to this because this is towards the end. But 
I used this last time. This is the Hourglass Ambient uh, Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. Guys, this is... It's like, even in the pan, isn't it just like... Like, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a random brush that I, okay, here we go. And I'm just gonna go between these two and basically add a little bit of shimmer. Actually, I'm just gonna do all three. Boop, 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 boop. And then, okay, literally my eye looks like butter. It looks like butter. I don't know if it's actually picking up but it does. I feel like this is kind of giving me like the effect of one of the naked palettes. I think the original naked palette, you know what I'm saying? I could wear this all day or day, all day or day. So I linked the Hourglass palette down below. We're gonna, oh, don't worry. We're coming back to it to do the highlight. We're, I linked it down below. It's out of stock at Sephora, unfortunately. So I linked it on the Hourglass website for you guys. This is, this is, it's bougie. It's bougie, <laughs> Tina Scariano. Steamrolled, newly born angel face. Thank you so much. This is bougie, but I mean, if, uh, I, 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 I mean, I mean, it's so good. It's so good. Okay. Now we're going to do some brows. And I'm going to use the um, Glossier Boy Brow in the shade brown. Someone said my chest is glowing. Oh, thank you. I, I put some lotion on it, but I, I didn't put anything else on it. Thank you so much. Just a sensible, simple, little simple feathered brow situation. Someone said, try the Pac Patrick Ta Glow Oil. I've been wanting to try that. Speaking of bougie, but his stuff looks incredible. I haven't, I haven't tried any of it yet, but I shall keep it in mind. Nancy Braun, I need some of that boy brow too. I'm telling you guys, it's the easiest brow you'll ever do. It is the easiest. So good. Okay. Done and done with the brows. This is actually, I know it sounds um, unbelievable. This is actually one of the easier makeup routines I've done so far live for you guys because there's lots of like two in ones. Like, the cream bronzer serves as, and, and the hourglass serves as eyeshadow. Like, I freaking love that. Okay, now, we're so close, we're so close. Now I'm just gonna do, you know what? I was gonna do an eyeliner, but we're gonna do like a little bit more of a baby eye. We're not doing a total baby eye. We're gonna do like just, just lashes. We're not, we're, we're keeping it natural. This is giving me very ethereal, ethereal vibes. So we're gonna keep it natural with about 17 products because that's how you keep it natural on YouTube. <sighs> Karen Krauss, does boy brow have the fibers or just cream? Um, oh, it's, wait. Oh no, it's just cream. It's like a cream gel situation. Did I answer that adequately? I feel like I sound like an idiot. <sighs> Lourdes, cream, no fibers. Oh, thank God for Lourdes. Jeez, she came in to save the day. Okay. 
Curling the eyes, curling the eyes. Lashes, eyelashes, not the eyes. That would be a disaster. Don't curl your eyes. That would just, I don't wanna see that. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the smallest Monster Big that you've ever seen, but, but I must have it, I must have it. Someone's asking about the lotion. Okay, actually, yes, I will share it with you because I just got it today and I put it on my chest literally right before I went live because I felt dry. Hold on one second. I'm gonna link this. If you guys don't know about this, it's a really, for what you get, it's a pretty inexpensive, <clears throat> inexpensive option. It is the Waleda Skin Food, the, orig the original um, ultra rich cream. This, Kay Jane Hughes like uses this on her face. Like she, she, you can use it on your body, on your face. It is so rich. I, I should mention this in, in a video because y'all know how parched our hands are right now. This is my go-to hand cream. I mean, yes, I have the bum bum cream, which is like options, <laughs> but this is amazing. You can get it at Target, which is where I got it. I'll link it again after the live stream. Um, Karen Krause said, well, Leda is a dupe for La Mer. Oh, shit. Karen just dropped a bomb. Everyone listen up. I'm going to try really hard not to get any mascara anywhere but my lashes. So let's see if it works. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> My dad is pointing out that I, it's ironic because everyone's saying I look like a princess in these sleeves, but when I worked for Disney for like almost five years, I played all their female villains for them, so this is the closest I'm going to get. Okay. I wonder when I'm gonna stop doing this duo. Y'all are probably like, oh my God, she's doing that again. But like, again, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? Like, like this is the Benefit um, Roller Lash. And I just feel like if I go in while the Monster Big is still wet, it's like the perfect combination. And it literally looks like false lashes, literally. It's a wonderful product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? <laughs> Tina, I ordered that mascara too. Literally everything you say I must have. <laughs> Sarah, Kleinsmith, Kate, everything about you is classy except your love of canned meats. Well, we, you know what? We can't, we can't be all one thing. You know what I mean? Like we have to keep it. What's the word? Real. Real. <laughs> we have to keep, thank you. We got to keep it real. Real. That's the word real. I was going to say down to earth, but apparently I didn't know what I was going to say. I was really at a loss there. Okay. Doing the under eye, doing the under lashes. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, Stephanie, or Steffi Britches. I had doubts about that mascara combo, but then I tried it. My God, it's true. Wow, Stephanie is like a full-on, like, infomercial for me right now. She's like, I had my doubts, but my God, it really works. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> okay. Truly, thank you. It does, it does work, damn it. I'm telling you, I'm not telling you a lie. Are these eyes lying to you right now? No, they're not. Okay. Now the other eye. Lourdes, Kate, do you like spam? Yes, I do. We just, Randy and I just had a conversation about this the other night. I love spam. 
I love a, I love a, like a, like a fried spam sandwich with an egg. Oh my God. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wow, this is really, I have to say this, this very miniature mascara is really not it. I mean, it's, it's fine, but like you really have to use a light hand. Okay, wow, thank God this is almost done. Jeez Louise. Okay. Oh, I'm exhausted. Okay, now, now for the second round. Okay, so we finished Waco, guys. We finished Waco. I feel like I talked about that a couple times. I'm not quite sure I... Well, what did you guys think of it? Um, I thought it was fascinating, and I'm just like... Well, I love Taylor Kitsch. I've loved him since Friday Night Lights. Um, it was It was really interesting. I thought it, I thought it was well done. And then, you know what else we watched? I bet you're not going to guess. I know you're not. And you're going to think when I tell you what it is that Randy suggested it, but nope, he didn't. I suggested it because I'm just a glutton for punishment. We watched Waterworld. Do you guys remember Waterworld? 1995, you know, that gem with Kevin Costner and Gene Triplehorn. Um, <clears throat> oh, Renee's leaving. Goodbye, Renee. Randy said, Randy said he's not a fan of most things canned except for corned beef. So there you go. Um, yes, we did watch. Yes, we did watch Waterworld. Yes, I know it's one of the worst films. That's partially why... I watched it because I was like, you know what? I remember seeing that. I was 12 when it came out. And I remember, all I remember is that it was like a huge flop. I saw it in the theaters. And the only things I recall are him like drinking that eyeball, like that fish eyeball, like squeezing the liquid out of it and then eating the eyeball and like torch, like, kind of like taunting that young girl with it. And then also him peeing in the very beginning of the movie and then like him filtering his pee through and making it water. I mean, it's just, it is terrible. I mean, I'm not stating anything that isn't known, you know what I mean? But I really, I really feel bad for everyone involved with that movie because everyone was so excited about it. Everyone is so excited. We watched this documentary about the making of it afterward and like, it was like people thought they were changing the world. They were like, this is revolutionary. I mean, and no one had, you know, built like a city in the sea to make a movie, admittedly. Like it was, that's true. But just like so much money spent and just did not do well. And I, d <laughs> Randy said water world is misunderstood. Okay. Fair, okay, kind of, but it's also kind of generic. And I just don't understand. Can someone explain, can someone explain Gene Triplehorn to me? Someone, anyone, like, it's like, okay, she's like kind of okay. She's really forgettable. She's pretty, but I'm like, eh. she's, what's happening what's what's even happening with gene triplehorn i'm just like a little bit asleep over here and also randy told me <laughs> what did randy yell oh <laughs> yes well i'm sure people will disagree with randy but um i don't think it's as bad as some movies i will say but for what was spent on it it's terrible um the other thing I wanted to say, this, this is something Randy shared with me, is that apparently Kevin Costner, I hope I'm not repeating fact, like things that aren't true. 
Kevin Costner was so insecure about his hairline in certain scenes that he made them go back and do reshoots of scenes. Like hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent just to go back so that Kevin Costner can feel okay with his hairline, which it's like, Kevin, wh when will that be? Like your hairline, just accept it. It's far back. You're still sexy. It's water. It's wet. Like what, what are we supposed to do with this? Just accept your wet, watery hair hairline. Your receding, wet, watery hairline. It's don't make everyone come back and refilm. <sighs> Kevin, we've had this conversation. Anyway, I thought he looked great. And if you're listening, Kevin, you looked great. Okay. <laughs> Waco. Catnip 4. I thought Waco was a horrible tragedy. There were no winners and wasn't a good guys versus bad guys situation. Everyone lost. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I had no idea how awful that, I mean, I knew it was an awful situation, but I didn't understand like both sides of it. I didn't understand like the law enforcement and like the force they used um, when they kind of didn't have to. And it's just, it's, oh, it's complicated complicated but um <laughs> it's not light it is not light entertainment that is faux show Waco Susan's asking Waco is on Netflix yes correct um oh is Jean Tina Scariano said Jean Triple Horn is in Big Love. Oh, okay. I miss. See, I need to. I need to see Big Love. Maybe I misspoke. I was being too hard on Jean. I'm sorry. But also, Big Love, polygamy. It's coming full circle. But not really, because that was Water World, and now we're talking about Waco. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Um, Lynn Piccolo said, "I didn't know how badly the FBI had handled the Waco situation. I did not know either. I did not know." Um, <laughs> catnip four, but Taylor Kitsch singing, I still believe was kind of hot. I could not believe, is that real? Like I made Randy stop because Taylor Kitsch who plays David Koresh is literally like giving like a full on like sexy, like rock concert out the window during this whole Waco situation. Um, and I have to say, he sounded good. I mean, I don't know that David Koresh sound. I mean, I don't know. I, I couldn't, I didn't get a chance to hear his rendition. Was this a thing that happened? I was like, is this something they added just for fun? Also, I will buy Taylor Kitsch's album. Like I, like the minute it drops, I'll be there for it. Randy said, but not as hot and greasy, not, but not as hot as greasy sax man in the Lost Boys singing it. Okay. Yes, that was from The Lost Boys, that song that... Anyway, can anyone speak to David Koresh singing a full-on rock song out the window of the compound? Because I was like, what is happening? I'm kind of judging it, but also I'm here for it. Okay, I know we're getting really random with Waco and then Waterworld. <laughs> we're taking it back to our childhoods. Waterworld, Waco. Okay, I need to move. I, I'm almost done and I just can't stop yammering. So we did the mascara. Now, ooh, 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 now. I just thought of this today. We're gonna use, we're gonna go, see? Two in one, two in one sitch. We're gonna go back and use the Daiquiri Dip, the Fenty Cream Blush. I haven't tried this, but we're gonna use it as a lip color. Sexy sax man. We're talking about greasy sexy sax sax in the comments. And yes, I know he has a name, and I know that name is Tim. He will always be greasy sax man to me. <laughs> I hope you guys heard that because I'm too involved with my lips to repeat it. Apparently, I will repeat it. Apparently, sexy sax man has a name, and it's Tim. And Randy knows that, but he'll always be greasy sax man. 
Listen, I, I saw Lost Boys, but I, I'm not like, that wasn't my childhood, so I can't really speak to it. Okay, this is like the best blotted lip ever. Can we just talk about it? Am I wrong? Okay, I, I was gonna put like a gloss on top of this, which I still am, but also I'm like, do I? Do I pull the trigger? I'm going to, but damn it. Damn it, that's good. Jeez Louise. Okay. I'm amazed by my own image. <laughs> I am that pair, that pair, the super chat, the super chat pair who's like narcissistic and is like, yes, I look amazing. <laughs> okay. We're going in with a new product. I may or may not be mentioning it in the favorites video tomorrow. Like I said, most of this stuff is in it. Um, but this is the Glossier Lip Gloss. Um, my friend Sarah Alvarez got this shade and I coveted it and I was like, I must have it. So um, this is it's just in the shade red. What? the hell okay okay i see you okay well first of all i absolutely should have done this in the other videos <laughs> discoveries are being made okay so this is amazing now I'm going to compare it to the Fenty glosses. It's, it's like the same formula to me. This, this feels the same as the Fenty gloss bomb in glass slipper. Um, oh, my dad, <laughs> damn it. I'm dropping things. My dad sent $20. Uh, he sent me the narcissistic pair. Thank you, dad. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? But is there a subtext though? <laughs> No, thank you. Thanks, Dad. Um, this is like redonkulous. And it like, like I said, it's a really, really, I had this in the clear and I'm almost out. But the next time I'm going to purchase this, because it's, I'm going to repurchase it. I'm going to get this shade. I, you, in my videos, Again, the video from yesterday and tomorrow, you'll see I'm not wearing any base. So it's just literally this gloss. And it, even on its own, it's really beautiful. It's really natural, but it just has like a hint of tint to it. So it's like a your lips, but better situation. Susan Corman said, how much is that? I don't remember. It's linked in the description box. I think it's around $16. I'm not entirely sure. Check it out. I might be misspeaking. We have one more product, guys. One more product. We're going back to the ambient, uh, the hourglass palette. I'm gonna take my little refer fan brush and I'm gonna go between these two shades right here. This is, so I looked this up, I, I don't remember. Oh, it says it right here. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> it says it on the back of the palette. And I'm like, let me refer to the website. Okay, I understand now. Okay, so this is absolute strobe light, pure strobe light, and lucent strobe light. So this is like a rose. This, this is described as a rose gold. This is like a pink. And this is like a yellowy champagne. Okay. I'm just doing them all. I just do them all. I'm just like, boop. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's even happening? No longer are we TV chic.
Holy chnana, hello, that is crazy. And then, and then, we're gonna take a drink. Oh, do the nose, Lauren wants me to do the nose, wow. Okay, okay, Lauren, if you want the nose, I'll give you the nose. This could be a mistake. <laughs> Let's find out together. Oh no, that's not a mistake. That's nice. I like that. Thank you, Lauren. Lauren really advised this whole thing. She's like, yes, use the cream blush. Do the nose. I guess I know who my new manager is. Okay, so. Boo, 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 boo. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna first go in with like, this is kind of still damp. I like to just do a little, little padding situation to make sure it's nice and blended. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, but wait, oh, but wait. You thought that was extra. I'm gonna, Freaking put this glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist all over my face. Let's see how you like that. Guys, I'm not mad about this look tonight. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Lauren, Lauren's leaving. Bye, Lauren. Okay. This is the finished look. Let's take it in. Let's do Broken Doll together. Broken Doll to the side. Broken Doll to the other side. Front. Mm. Take a drink. Okay, I, I'm not gonna lie. This might be my most favorite look that I've done for you guys live. Um, also me, I was just trying to like get a good shot for my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm sick of trying to like go back into my live stream afterward and like me just looking weird moving all the time. So I'm like, <laughs> this will be the thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so, so much for being here. Um, I feel like I missed a lot of commentary toward the end here. Um, I'm just gonna scroll up to see If I missed anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I don't think I did. I think I fit. Well, I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. But um, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to remember to link the Waleda, Waleda, whatever in the description box. Um, and what is today? What even is today? It's Wednesday. So that means that we have one left this week. It's on Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm so, so excited about my live stream with Jen, uh, the collab with Jen Loves Reviews tomorrow. Please make sure you watch it when it drops. And um, obviously, obviously, if you haven't liked this, please like, please subscribe, and please share which I know a lot of you guys have already done. So thank you, thank you so much for all your support, for all your super chats and your Venmos and everything. You guys are the best. And I will see you on Friday. Bye. Oops.